Fine. Just to explain you a bit more about if and else, uh, we are going to do a simple program. So where we are going to find out whether a number is even or odd. You can pause the video and do it on your own. Okay. So let's look at the program. First, we are trying to read the number as an integer. So that is why we are using int function and then input function. Now, if the number modulo 2, so what in modulo operator is, whenever you divide any number with other number, a modulo b, then the remainder of a by b division will be given by the modulo operator. Now, if you are taking number modulo 2, it means that if I divide the number with 2, if the remainder is equal to 0 or not. You have to observe that we are using double equal to, not single equal to, and then the uh, column after the statement. So if the number modulo 2 is double equal to 0, which is equal to 0, uh, then we are going to print this is an even number. Simple program, nothing complex. You have to just understand what modulo operator is and what double equal to is. Now, else. Now, if we observe it, this if and else are at the same level of indentation, which means this these are a fail. If this happens, if this condition is true, this statement will be executed. Otherwise, else statement will be executed. Don't worry, we will do an example later with a lot of statements in the if, if uh, statement or uh, if block and a lot of statement in the else block. Here, I am using a single statement. So, this is an odd number. Okay, so we have used a different file name. Uh, so if you run it, you are going to get even or odd. Okay, thank you. Hi, in one of the previous examples, we have seen that how to calculate BMI, weight divided by height square. Height has to be in meters and weight has to be in kgs. Now, according to the BMI, you can classify people to be into four categories. If the BMI is less than 18.5, it is underweight. If the BMI is around 18.5 to 25, it is normal weight. And if the BMI is from 25 to 30, it is overweight. And if the BMI is greater than 30, it is obese. Now, let's try to display not just the BMI, but also what type of person he is. Obese or normal weight or underweight. Okay. So, let's look at the program. So, this is the previous program that we have written. We, we are reading height as a float and weight as a float and we are computing weight divided by height square and we are rounding it off to the nearest integer okay <coughs> rounding we are using now after that we are going to compute uh, the range of the according to the number we are going to say whether it is underweight or overweight so if you see this if bmi is less than 18.5 we are printing that he is underweight if the bmi is less than 25 we are printing that he is normal weight Less than 30, it is overweight, and less than 35, it is obese. So, by and otherwise, it is clinically obese. Else, so why am I showing you this example? Is when you are having if and else, a lot of elements are there, and else is there, all of them are at the same indentation because all of them are linked. Now, when you are writing a program with values having if and else. You should be very careful about the values that you are going to type there. For example, if BMI is less than 18.5, if this is true, then all these conditions will not be checked. Okay. Now, instead of this, if you put this statement before it, let us say you have taken BMI is less than 35 and you have put it here, then what happens is if BMI is less than 18.5, then this condition will be true. If it is less than 25, this condition will be true. If it is less than 30, this condition will be true. That is not what we want to print. So when you are putting many values in else and else, if and else, if, just be careful about the order. The order in which you put the values is important. And th there is no particular formula for this. Practice will help you in understanding this. Okay. First, you have to write this statement 18.5 and at the end, you have to write 35. If you write this initially, uh, the answer will be wrong. Okay, let's now run it and see. Let's say the height is 1.8 meters and the weight is, let's say, 70. Now, 
your normal weight your bmi is 22 is shown okay thank you hi let's do one more example on the cells so it is a classic problem how to find out whether a year is leap year or not you know leap years right so there will be 29 days in this february so that is a leap year and it will come every once in a while and there is a formula for this there is algorithm so this is the algorithm in order to find out whether a year is leap year or not first if the year is divisible by 4 if it is not divisible by 4 it is not a leap year if it has to be a leap year it has to be divisible by 4 <clears throat> and let us say it is divisible by 4 then you have to check whether it is divisible by 100 or not if it is not divisible by 100 then it is a leap year which means divisible by 4 not divisible by 100 is a leap year let us say it is divisible by 100 also then we have to check if it is divisible by 400 or not and now if it is divisible by 400 then it is leap year otherwise it is not a leap year so don't worry you don't have to buy hard this okay so even in the interview some, someone asks you for this question they will give you this flowchart then you can easily answer it so i will keep showing you this diagram while we write the code let's go to the program okay so first i have read the year as an integer i have converted it into an integer type casted it and now that is in the year so first i am checking if it is divisible by 4 or not so how do you check whether a number is divisible by 4 by using modulo operator year modulo 4 so if it is divisible by 4 then if it is if the answer is 0 it means it is divisible by 4 so we have seen that if it is divisible by if it is not divisible by 4 it is not a leap year right now let's go back to the algorithm now we have checked this part and we have displayed this if it is not divisible by 4 it is a leap year if it is divisible by 4 we have to check if it is divisible by 100 or not if it is not divisible by 100 it is a leap year otherwise we have to check one more condition now we are going to use nested if so if inside an if this is nested if so now we are checking if the number is divisible by 100 or not if the number is not divisible by 100 then it is a leap year now let's go back to the algorithm now if you observe it after 100 is checked we have to check if it is divisible by 400 or not if it is divisible by 400 it is a leap year otherwise it is not a leap year so again it has to be a nested, nested if right if the year is divisible by 4 sorry 400 then we are going to print it is leap year if the year is divisible by 400 and 400 is a leap year else so else is for this if okay else print it is not leap year now let's run it i know that 2000 year 2000 is a leap year So let us enter 2000. Yes, it is a leap year. Now let's run it one more time. Let us give 1999, year 1999. It is not a leap year. So it is not a leap year, right? So you don't have to by heart the algorithm. You don't have to by heart the program also. If they give you this program somewhere to write it, you can Google out the algorithm and run it otherwise you can they will provide you the algorithm in the exam if they ask you this okay thank you now we'll see one more example on if and ellipse so it is a pizza order program where user will be asked to enter what type of pizza they want small medium large so large pizza is 300 200 one something we'll we'll assign some numbers like this large is 300 medium is 200 and small is 100 okay now if they want to then we will ask them whether they want to add pepperoni or not in case if they say that they want to add pepperoni then 
we are going to say we are going to add for small pizza 10 rupees and for medium and large we are going to add 20 rupees and similarly we are going to ask whether they want a cheese extra cheese or not in case if they want extra cheese we are going to add uh, 10 rupees to all the pizzas okay so finally we want the final bill what whatever has happened this is this program is just to illustrate details conditions okay now if size initially bill is initialized to zero and we are going to manipulate it and now if the size is uh, small which means if they have ordered small pizza then the bill is going to be 100 rupees you need not write bill plus equal to 100 here you can directly write bill equal to 100 but anyway since we are going to add a lot of things to the bill it is better that you follow this convention and if uh, else if the size is equal to medium then the bill is going to be 200 so if you observe it we are using if and else so which means only one condition is going to be executed here we have used the if and else right you can directly write 300 or you can write bill plus equal to 300 not a problem there's a small problem here see we are asking user to enter only three letters s m and l in the capitals now we have got capital if we have got capital s capital m we are saying what to do but here you know we are writing just else which means whatever the user prints if he prints small s or small m it will go to else statement so it is better to write l if later we will see how to deal with small letters and capital letters but it is better to write l if here so that uh, you can it will be clear and there is no need of else so remember that in case of if l ifs and else there is no need of if else at all the times for example you can write like this l if size equal to l you can directly write so that you know there will be no scope for errors here so if you write like this there is no scope for errors but anyway later we will see how to deal with errors now if the pepperoni is added the pepperoni add pepperoni is true then you can see that we are indenting so within the uh, within the if block we are writing it okay we have to check whether the order is small or medium or large If size equal to yes, we are going to add some amount. Let's say 10 rupees or something like this. Here we have to write build plus equal to because it is already initialized to some number. Here we have to write plus equal to. Which means build equal to build plus 20. So you are writing else. Which means if it is medium or large, we are adding 30 rupees, let us say. Now if you observe it, here also there is a scope for error. So if the size is S, then we are going to get this. If the size is uh, other than S, we are going to go to else. There, user might have entered something wrong, then it will go to the else plot. Else spot without giving you any error, you have to handle it. Okay. Now, extra cheese equal to Y, which means if the user has asked for extra cheese, then irrespective of the size of the uh, pizza, we are just having, we are just adding 10 rupees. Okay. And finally, we will find, we will print the bill in a string. Let's execute it and see. So it is asking whether what kind of what size of pizza you want. Let us give medium. Do you want pepperoni? Let us say yes. Do you want cheese? Let us say yes. 
that it is saying that your gear is 240 because medium size pizza is uh, 200 and then add ounce is 40 rupees okay thank you